Indian feudalism refers to the feudal society that made up India's social structure until independence in 1947. Terminology Use of the term feudalism to describe India applies a concept of medieval European origin, according to which the landed nobility held lands from the crown in exchange for military service, and vassals were in turn tenants of the nobles, while the peasants villains or serfs were obliged to live on their lord's land and give him homage, labour, and a share of the produce, notionally in exchange for military protection. The term Indian feudalism is used to describe Talukdar, Zamindar, Jagardar, Sardar, Mankari, Deshmukh, Chaudhry and Samanta. Most of these systems were abolished after the independence of India and the rest of the subcontinent. D. D. Kosambi and R. S. Sharma, together with Daniel Thorner, brought peasants into the study of Indian history for the first time. Bihar. The Bihar region now a state of India was a hotbed for feudalism. Feudal lords ruled the region for decades, semi-feudal conditions still exist. As a result, child malnourishment is common, in spite of modern Bihar's status as having the fastest growth in gross domestic product in India. Telangana <inaudible> 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 The Doras and Deshmukhs ruled the region until the annexation. They held all the land in their fief and everybody used to give their produce, and they used to be given only food barely sufficient for sustenance. The rebellion against feudal lords, known as Vedi Chakiri Yudhayamam, from 1946 to 1951 in Telangana region called as Telangana Rebellion illustrates the feudal society in the region. The feudal lords used to reside in a high fortress called as Gaudi, for entering it they leave their footwear at the threshold of the Gaudi. The Madagas and other backward classes were required to carry their footwear in their hands if they were passing in front of the Gaudi or Dora. A famous line which is repeated by the oppressed was Banchan Dora ne Kalmoktha will touch your feet my lord. A major Telugu film blockbuster, Ma Bhumi, showed the society under feudal lords. The Sri Krishna Committee on Telangana says in its findings that there is still gross injustice to the land tillers of the region, the villains in this case were landlords of Telangana and not those of other regions. <laughs> <laughs> Kerala There were a number of feudal states in Kerala in the Middle Ages between the end of Shara dynasty and the British rule. Madras Presidency Several zamindaris were established in the Madras Presidency present-day Tamil Nadu and adjoining areas from 1799 onwards. The largest of these were Arni, Ramnad, Gunapur and Sivaganga. The zamindari settlement was based on a similar settlement established in Bengal. The zamindari settlement of Madras was largely unsuccessful and was wrapped up in 1852. However, a few zamindaris remained till India's independence in 1947. Topic: <laughs> North Arcot. North Arcot region was under Jagardars until the Indian independence. The largest estate was that of Arni, a Dashastha royal family. Arni estate was larger than Sander princely estate. Northern Andhra The Northern Andhra region was under Doras until the Indian independence. The largest estate was that of Vizianagram under the Pusapati Kshatriya family which was liberal and enlightened. Rayalasima The Rayalasima region was under Iyagaru until the independence, the largest estate was that of Panyam, which was ruled by a Dashastha royal family of Vishvamitra Gotra and was liberal and enlightened. <laughs> Vidarbha The feudal lords in Vidarbha region are notorious for their oppressive rule.
Topic: In literature. Indian feudalism by Ram Shuran Sharma. Saraswati Chandra by Gavardhan Ram Madhavaram Tripathi, later adapted into film by the same name in 1968. See also Debt bondage in India Caste system in India Feudalism in Pakistan Princely states of India <laughs>